rice. It's one of my favorite recipes. I make it a lot. Um, and first off, um, we need 1.5 pounds of chicken breast, um, butter, onion, garlic cloves, Italian seasoning, pepper and salt, chicken broth, rice, and freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Um, so we'll begin by just cutting up our ingredients to get prepped for cooking. So I'm cutting up the garlic cloves right now. recipe a little bit. Alright, looking good. This recipe doesn't take too long to cook, so it's not really time consuming. It maybe takes about But first the onions, because we want them to get nice and soft in the butter. Still heating up. <laughs> so, um, we'll start adding our butter in. Perfect. All right, there we go. 
about two to three minutes in the butter, just so that they soften up. Get that butter nicely melted. Beautiful. spread them apart a little bit so that they're cooking evenly into the butter. Now we just need these guys to soften up for two to three minutes. In the meantime, um, we can check the next steps of our recipe. So it looks like, um, it would be adding in the diced chicken and the salt and pepper. Um, I pre-cooked my chicken. So you can cook your chicken in the pan as you go. I personally don't trust it, so I baked my chicken ahead of time. Um, which I guess we can cut up. So I use chicken tenderloins because that's what I found at the grocery store. I like organic chicken. Um, and typically I would buy the breast, but they did not have breast at the store. I pre-seasoned my chicken already. So you can cut these to any size you want. Um, I just make them into nice square chunks. So if pieces look a little too big, I just cut them right in half. These are coming along very nicely. Uh, Chapman wants to know you're cooking without an apron. <laughs> I know I'm cooking without an apron. I thought about picking one up from Target before I started the stream, but I did not. I wore my football jersey um, for the Super Bowl. Maybe um, next cooking video, if you guys like to see stuff like this, um, I can certainly buy an apron. And maybe I'll do a little bit of a vintage look to it some vintage cooking. That might be fun. and soft. Mm -hmm. 
So this is a step where we'd be adding in our chicken. And this is when you would typically be cooking the chicken, but I'm not going to because my chicken is fully cooked. So we can just move on to the next step by adding some salt and pepper for flavor. this constantly so that that garlic flavor mixes in with all our other seasonings. Come on, get off of there. I see you trying to escape.
So many times you've made this. I've made this a lot. <laughs> uh, I probably make it once a month, honestly. Just to have a stock of it in my freezer. And uh, to the chat, we're going to be staying the whole time because she's going to have to bring some stuff to a simmer. So if you have any chat uh, questions for Moosey, we'll be doing that while we're waiting for that all to kind of simmer out too. So go ahead and write those out if you have any. All right, let's bring this to a boil. I'll turn up the heat a little bit. It's already starting to boil. that question when we get everything to a boil, but that's a very complicated question that you've asked, uh, Glamorai88. Oh, I know Glamorai. Oh, I don't know The first question was from Glam Ryan. Her ask, or, uh, they were asking, how do you solve global warming? How do I solve global warming? Yeah. Global warming is a real thing and it doesn't get solved. It's just gonna happen. Like it was meant to be, the ice caps melt and everything like that. It's just another change in our planet that we just need to adapt to. Um, whether we'll live through it or not, we'll have to see. Um, if we miss the ice caps or not. Um, but I feel like the ice caps are left over from the big freeze. So they weren't supposed to be there to begin with. So the next question is, are politicians really lizard people? Yes, politicians are really lizard people. Well, those so far are the questions that we have. So what is the game plan for you this week uh, for streaming? For streaming this week, I definitely want to play a little bit more of Death Road to Canada. Um, I'd like to buy a couple more games. I'd love to hear everyone's ideas. Phasmophobia was one of the games I was going to purchase this weekend um, and see if we could get that going on stream and play. Um, I know I want to play Ark Survival. Um, I have that in the works. Um, I'm going to make a server. I'm just laughing. That, that was my laugh about it. Um, so, and you said you've had your outfits picked out for the week. You guys should check out her Instagram. What's your Instagram again? My Instagram is heymoosey underscore OG. Uh, do you have a Lord of the Rings cup? And if so, can we see it? I do have a Lord of the Rings cup. I got it through Loot Crate. I did not purchase this cup. I am not a fan of Lord of the Rings. So, but I will show you. 
the fable color changing pot. Here it is in all its glory. That's actually really cool. The scripture is written on it. I like using this glass a lot for orange juice. The color, um, the lettering changes red um, when you pour any sort of liquid, hot or cold, into it. So that. What was your thoughts on playing that Doki Doki Literature Club this week? Oh my God, I was devastated with Fury. I read a little bit more about it, and um, it looks like no matter what toys I would have made, it would have ended up the same way. Me devastated. Um, just so sad about Yuri. I hated Monica the whole time from the beginning and she just overtook my game. I mean, technically it was her game, Just Monica, right? Yeah, it was. They should just call the game Just Monica. <laughs> so, are you, you have a, you have a fan discord too, don't you? I do have a fan discord. Um, I will be posting that on my Twitter, which is Hey Moosey OG. Um, and, um, I can post on my Instagram as well. Those are my two sites that you can find me at. I do have a discord created as well. So... Uh, we get a hashtag, we love Monica and chat. Ooh. Ooh. That stings. <laughs> so then, uh, are you a fan of uh, more AAA titles, or do you like indie games? I like indie games a lot better. I find they're a little bit more creative um, as far as like gameplay goes, and I like the style. Um, of a lot of the games, like the artwork and how everything looks in the game. It just makes me feel good. Um, unless it's a horror game, of course. <laughs> and uh, me and uh, Moosey here have talked about we're gonna try playing, uh, what was it? Un not Until Dawn, the uh, the, uh, the sequels to those games, because she's never seen them. So, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with them and, uh, and such. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I saw the trailer and everything like that for the game, and it looks awesome. Um, you'll definitely get some good reactions out of me, I'm sure. You'll see my decision-making skills <laughs> <laughs> at first hand, um, because I think I have to make split-second decisions in these kind of games. And if you've seen me in Death Road to Canada, just choosing a shop or... <laughs> Um, oh boy, you're in for it. So, can you do any impressions like a Boston accent, perhaps? Uh, oh. <laughs> you want to hear my Boston accent? Which at once. Alright, um, let's, uh, what should I say, chat? Yeah, you gotta give, you gotta give Moosey a, a prompt to say. So, well, that's going on. We've got... Yeah, we'll need, if you want Moosey to say something, you guys at least gotta say, like, keep it PG, obviously. <laughs> or don't, it's not my stream, but, you know. We'll see, it depends on what chat says. <laughs> uh, say it's a difficult situation. Oh, no. <laughs> we're bringing, we're bringing Sopranos into this? Apparently, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Moosey, what's your opinions on The Sopranos? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> Mob movies aren't my thing. <laughs> but I heard The Sopranos is really good. So, uh, you're going to start watching and like, really record back for everybody, right? Oh, probably not. Um, <laughs> Pretty deep in some other series right now. I don't think uh, Sopranos could even be my bedtime show because it's one of those shows you have to pay attention to. Okay, so here's a here's a here's a question. What is a poot and where does it come from? <laughs> so a poot is a nice term for fart, and it comes from unicorns, and that's girls too. Unicorns and girls. Interesting. 
Yeah. What are some of the shows you're watching currently? Um, geez. I watch a lot of YouTube still. We got a hashtag offended about your poop comment. Oh no. Did you watch the new movie from Studio Ghibli? Um, so I did, but I didn't finish it. Yeah, Moosey has been uh, being my uh, Ghibli Sherpa and teaching me all about the movies because I've never seen any of them. So she's been a great guide in that. Yeah, we watched Toto, we watched. Kiki's Delivery Service, we've watched Spirit of the Way, we watched Howl's Moving Castle, we watched Castle in the Sky, what else? There's so many. We watched one more, but I can't remember, and then we did watch the newest one, but didn't finish it because it was late. I think it was called Earth Dragon of the Sea or something like that. Oh, was the other one? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh, chat says it's like Japanese Disney. Yeah, pretty much. I like it. I like the animation style of Ghibli. So what's your favorite Ghibli movie then? The original, the Otoro. Oh, so you big fan of big cats. <laughs> I just, I I own the, VHA, the VHS tape still, so <laughs> <laughs> that was the first studio Ghibli movie I've ever, ever seen. I'm so it holds a dear place in my heart. I'm guessing chat might want to see you take a picture of that. Just and put it on Instagram at any point. Ooh, I'm gonna have to find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been put away. It might be uh, in the crawl space. Oh, no. So, how did you feel about playing romance novels on your on your stream? I mean, Doki Doki was a little bit of a horror romance, but how did you feel about playing like those kind of like text based ones? I think I'm gonna play more text based games. Chicago Bears since you're right in Bears jersey. <laughs> I don't have a favorite team, um, but I do have some sports attire. Uh, I have a socks, a couple socks things, and Bears stuff for the most part um, because that's who um, at the time I, when I was dating they really liked those teams so. I went and supported those teams. Not a big sports person though, so you won't see me watching the Super Bowl today. I'll just find out who won. <laughs> there you go. What um, uh, what are what are kind of your other hobbies besides streaming and playing video games? Um, cooking, which is what I'm showing you now. Um, and I bike ride. I do yoga. A nerd, because uh, as her former dungeon master, she likes playing D and D as well. Oh yeah, I have my starter kit. I haven't opened it yet. I need to open it. Maybe that'll be the next IRL. Is me opening that dungeon kit. So, anything else you want to tell the audience? Okay. You guys gotta give us more questions. So then, oh, are you, apparently you're a wizard. Um, I'm a witch. No, I'm not. I'm a zombie. <laughs> Let's get real here. <laughs> I, I think they mean by D and D class. Uh, what class would you like to play? Oh, um, I usually end up playing like an archer. 
kind of class or like I like it not being right in that the action. I like being far away and being able to bat them um, as far as D and D goes. You're also kind of a board game aficionado too. What kind of board games have you been playing lately? Um, so Slay, um, I've been playing that. Rick and Morty, Anatomy Park, 1500, a card game my grandma taught me. Um, those are the three main games that I've been playing lately, but I play more. And then hopefully Moosey can get a capture card soon and then we can watch her struggle at uh, Mario Maker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to struggle hard with Mario Maker. Um definitely not your typical Mario levels. I think this is supposed to be a question, you might not know the former announcer here at Carrie, but uh, the question is, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? Um, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? <laughs> I don't think I would. I don't think I'd eat myself. So you'd rather spoil, huh? Yeah, I think I'd just spoil and <laughs> turn into a zombie hot dog. The zombie hot dog apocalypse. Yeah, I'd start the zombie hot dog apocalypse. So, what kind of what kind of ingredients would you want on your hot dog before you get spoiled? Just ketchup and mustard. Gross! You're from Chicago. You can't have ketchup on your hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. You know, I buy the Chicago dog, and you know what they say? I want nothing else on it. Just ketchup and mustard. you be weak to ketchup? Would I be weak? Yeah, I think this is the whole if you're a, if you're a hot dog, would you be weak to ketchup? Um, no, I'd slather myself up in ketchup. So you would you be all kind of slathering regularly, huh? Yeah, I'd just be bathing in that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so apparently you'd bathe in ketchup. So you're not a big relish fan, huh? No, not a big relish fan. Do you? Are you a pickle fan? Love pickles. Why do you not have a Chicago style hot dog? It's got pickle spears in it. Uh, I'll have the pickle spear on the side. Like, I don't know, I'll bite the pickle spear, take a bite of hot dog. See, a Chicago style hot dog is like a salad on the go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it has a bunch of stuff that I don't, I don't like on it. But there's onions. <laughs> I, I don't really like onions. Like I said, I only added half an onion to this recipe because um, they upset my stomach. So. Oh. I picture a zombie hot dog kind of like my grandma's wrinkled finger. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, uh, just so... <laughs> the the uh, night in the Chicago style hot dog. You are. I am. I, I am sure a bunch of people hearing this right now are super disappointed in me. To be fair, though, I I don't eat tomatoes on my Chicago style hot dog. Well, then you're not traditional. I know. Okay. I'm a little uh, a little out of it. So, what's our next step? Because we're getting close to being done. We got. Yeah. Minutes so left. our next step is just to stir in the heavy cream and add the Parmesan cheese. And that's where you see my twist to this recipe. That makes it a little less unhealthy. <laughs> but, um, that's okay. You'll see. It'll be really good. You'll probably make it this way, too. So what's, uh, just take a quick look at this. Yeah, the rice looks cooked. The chicken broth is boiled down at this point. So we got all that nice chicken flavor in our um, pan now. Um, it's infused in the rice. We got the chicken in there. It should taste really chickeny. And then um, I'm using a whole cup of cream, but um, the recipe calls for a half cup of cream. So I just like mine a lot creamier. So. Um, that's why I'm going with the full cup. Okay, so we got about a minute and a half left. I'm gonna stir it. Ooh, this is hot. That looks really good, actually. Uh, that's a 
lot of cream in all of the cheese. Ooh, it looks like our chicken broth boiled down a little bit. It's sticking. It's sticking. But hopefully with the cream, we can get that the rest of this on stuff. You know why it's sticking? Because I should have put them low. Yeah. Mm hmm I forgot it's a boil. But that's okay. No one's perfect. Rome's not built in a day. So this looks nice and good, so let's go ahead and add our cream in. I told you we'd be able to get it off with the cream. So we're not losing anything. So we'll have some crispy bits in this one, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of extra flavor. Right guys? All right. So we got our cream in there. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And so. I question how old your friend Glamour is. Oh. oh, really? All the kings and queens. So much cheese. I love cheese. So. you to eat it. Oh, you want me to eat it? <laughs> I guess I should try what I cooked, right? I'll scoop it in and then I'll eat it. I'll take a bite. So this makes about four servings.
though we burned it just a little bit because we left it on medium the whole time. It was simmering. Um, it still has the same flavor and it tastes great. Oh, who has to wash the pan? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, um, I do. I'm just the cameraman. <laughs> well, something, I hope you guys had fun. And I hope you guys make this at home for yourself. Remember, while simmering, turn it down to low. <laughs> 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 and that'll be it for this uh, stream. And until the next video, I will see you. Bye-bye.